Hello every creature, this is Shank, and this is my quick and dirty lesson on how to use Tupperbox. Tupperbox is a system where you can have all of your OCs active at the same time without having to log into multiple accounts. It's a great way to have lots of characters on Discord. I use it here on EEA, and I've used it in many other role-playing games where I was playing more than one character. Today we're going to go through the basics of that really quick. So, here we are on Rust's account. I play Rust. It's been me this entire time. Anyway, if you look at Rust's account in Club Abyss, you can see all these messages from bots. This is pretty much what's going to happen with Tupperbox. You will be able to use Tupperbox to define every one of your OCs that you feel like, and after you do, you can use them anytime you want, anywhere you want. If a server has Tupperbox, you can use your creations there. It doesn't matter what server it is, EEA or somebody else's. With that all said, let's make our Tupper. So, we're going to make a Tupper for Lemon Hearts. As you can see, I have a picture of her all set up and ready to go. One thing I want you to notice is that the Lemon Hearts picture is a square. It doesn't matter what size it is, but Discord avatars work best when they're a square. It's also simple, and it's a headshot. When you shrink this down to an itty bitty little Discord icon, it's a lot more clear for everyone else if you're just using the headshot of your character. At the bottom of EEA Discord server, you'll see where we keep our bot channels, including Tupperbox. You'll find a pinned post that has all of the Tupperbox instructions on it. Although right now, we don't even need to worry about that. We can make this quick and easy. Technically speaking, you can make your Tuppers right here in the channel, though I advise against it. If for any reason your interactions with Tupper are deleted, you're going to lose the avatar you create for the Tupper. You won't lose the Tupper itself, but you will lose the avatar. What I do is boop Tupper in a message, and once I've got a message history going with it, then I'll start making my OC Tuppers right through PMs with it. It works just the same as it would in a channel, but it's more protected. So now we're down to the nitty gritty, and it's very important you type these commands precisely. If you don't, it's not going to work. The first thing you want to type is T-U-L, tull, exclamation point, and then register. All one word, no spaces between it. After that, make a space and put your OC's name inside of quotation marks. Now after that, you're going to see LEM colon text. That first part is an abbreviation for your OC. Since I'm making lemon hearts, I'm using LEM colon as the abbreviation. You can use whatever you want, though I suggest you keep it short and sweet. I like to use a colon before the text. I find the colon helpful to distinguish between the abbreviation I'm typing for my OC and what my OC is actually saying. You don't have to, but I recommend it. Now, the part that says text is where your OC's text is going to go when you use your Tupper in one of the chat channels. Now, just to remind you, the LEM colon is what I'm using as the abbreviation for Lemon Hearts. You can use anything you want and follow it with the letters text. I'll give you an example of that a little bit later. Before we go into how to use Tupper in a channel, we want to create the avatar for our new OC. So here, I'm typing the command TUL, T-U-L, exclamation point, avatar, space, and then the name Lemon Hearts in quotations. That's all there is to it. Now that you've typed the command, we're going to put our image into that line of text before we send it off to Tupperbox. This is going to be just like attaching an image to any other message. So it depends on where you're at. If you're on your computer, you can drag and drop it or copy and paste it. If you're on your phone, you can upload it. Send the message to Tupperbox. Wait a second, and you'll see your OC's avatar successfully registered. Now that we've got everything set, let's give our new creation a quick test run. Now, in my case, I'm going to type LEM colon some text and then send the message. And then we're going to pause it here before we actually send that message. I want you to note that there is nowhere in that message where I typed the word text. That's only used when you're creating the Tupper. All I needed to type was LEM colon, and then whatever I wanted Lemon Hearts to say. For half a second, you're going to see a post from Rust, and then Tupper will take over. It will delete the post, then it's going to remake the post, except for now, it's going to be from Lemon Hearts and not from Rust. And that's all there is to it. That is the basics of what you need to get Tupper Box working. There's a few other things I'd like to go over, though. Tupper has an ingenious little function. If you add a reaction to any Tupper Bot post, with a question mark in it, you will get a reply from Tupper PM to you letting you know who made the post. If you want to delete a Tupper post that you made, 
add a reaction to it using the big red X. Tupper will then delete that post for you. And now we're at our last little bit. If you go to the website tupperbox.app and log in using your Discord account, you will be able to see and manage all of your Tuppers. Aside from doing that, you can group them, you can reorganize them, you can edit them, and of course you can read the documentation and find out all the extra things Tupper can do that we didn't cover in this video. And now we've reached the end. I realize leaving behind the EEA chat system is going to be a disappointment for some of you. EEA chat had a lot of features I'm really proud of, especially for something I cobbled together over a few weeks. That being said, EEA chat has some major limitations and they're not going to go away. Meanwhile, Discord's feature set has been expanding. With Tupperbox on your side, the only thing that you're truly going to lose from EEA chat is anonymity. That's going to impact a lot of us, myself included. I wish I could give you some advice besides making a secondary Discord account, but that's the only option on the table. The end of the EEA chat system has been a long time coming, and to be bluntly honest about it, the fandom is too small and my time is too limited. I just can't devote the resources to it. Unfortunately, it's time for us to move on from the EEA chat system, and this is the way that we're going to do it. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to listen to this video. 